Okay, this is my uh, little test of the uh, Burntomatic Oxy Map Gas welding rig. Um, this is these are the two tanks set up on their little cheesy stand here. Uh, instructions aren't great, but um, if you look at them carefully, you can see that this is the fuel valve and this is the oxygen regulator and they have to go on it each. There's no way to do it actually wrong because uh, this is a left hand thread, this is a standard thread. So, um, And this is the nozzle. Okay, this is my makeshift uh, work area here. It really isn't ideal, but um, it's just a piece of uh, basically brick that uh, is part of a retaining wall. The one thing that they uh, they don't include in the kit is a pair of goggles and you really need these. Um, these are brazing goggles about 18 bucks um, but add that to your purchase when you get it so that you don't see spots in front of your eyes. Um, I've just set up this little practice weld that I want to do. It's pretty similar to what I'm trying to accomplish. I'm going to just place my my tube there and weight it down with a brick. <laughs> <clears throat> should be called the masonry school of welding I guess and then this piece is what I want to weld onto this so I'm going to use another brick to hold that into place um, and I will probably try to measure that out to make sure that's square before I start welding the other thing that you really don't get enough of when you get this kit is uh, brazing rods um, they include let me see if I can find it. It's this little set of, <coughs> oh, they're like six or eight rods. Uh, two of them look like they're brass, two of them look like they're copper, and then there was one that was a uh, flux rod. And it doesn't tell anything about the specs or anything for them. Um, this little kit, you can get it at the same, on the same shelf as the welding kit, and uh, it says brazing, nickel silver, brazing and welding rods. Specs are on the back. It's called NS3 Nickel Silver Brazing Rod Flux Coated Used in Joining Carbon and Alloy Steels, blah, 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 blah. So um, whatever you're doing, you can actually get the spec on the brazing rod off the shelf, not from the kit. So that's another sort of additional purchase you gotta you got to do. And um, hardcore guys uh, use the uh, gloves, the leather gloves, and are going to, uh, you know, feed it in. I'm uh, clamping it to cl just clamping it to a pair of vice grips. Get the flux to come off of it. Clamp it down, and I'm just going to use that. Um, probably better control with a glove, but um, I don't have a glove, so there you go. Uh, here's how you get it going. <coughs> um, first thing to do is to crack what they call the fuel valve, which is the map gas valve. The one thing you want to make sure that you don't do is uh, open and light the oxygen valve without any map gas burning already. So that's the biggest caution that's repeated over and over in the instructions. And I'm literally just cracking the map gas valve. Okay, I got a little bit of a flame. The instructions say to crank it out to about a seven inch flame. So that's about there. Okay, now I'm going to um, I'm going to open the oxygen valve, and you got to really go slow on this, but you'll see it kick in. I mean, I'm I've got it almost a half a turn now, maybe a full turn, maybe a maybe a turn and a half now, but it is a regulator. It's not a valve, so that's why we're getting a little bit of difference here in the performance of the fuel and the oxygen. Come on baby, you can do it. It should be kicking in right about now. Oh, okay, that kicked in and it blew the blew the flame out. So I'm just going to relight relight it. I think I'll turn this up a little bit more. And then you're looking for the oxygen to kick in and it just to 
make a little bit of a pop. There we go. And it's going to pop to the nozzle. It really hasn't popped to the nozzle yet, so I don't know what's wrong with that, but there we go. Now it's popped to the nozzle. I did that just by turning down the map gas a little. But now I can turn the map gas up and turn up more oxygen. We want this inner flame to be about, um, about a half an inch. Okay, now I'm going to put on my goggles. And uh, I'm gonna pick up my flux and start um, heating. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this tank over here out of the way. <laughs> Okay, one of the things that I tend to do is the more excited I get <laughs> and the more I concentrate, the more I move the flame into the work, which is a bad idea. You want it sort of back away from the work. I mean, granted, I am just about the last person to teach welding, having very little experience in it. Okay, getting the thing going to a... To, um, Pretty much red hot, and then you can put the rod in and melt the rod into the joint. Yeah, the experienced welder guys are laughing at me now, but that's uh. That's all there is to it. You can see I've bridged that gap. Um, this is actually braze welding rather than brazing, um, which allows you to bridge the gap. Brazing is more like soldering, where the, the, uh, the material is sucked into the joint. I'm just going to turn this over and do the back now. It's going to be a little trickier. So let's heat it up. I'm going to switch hands to it. I'm going to use my right hand to get better at fine work there. I just noticed that the cone in the, in the flame was a little bit small, so I, I added a little more oxygen. I don't know how much the ambient temperature affects this, but it's about 20 degrees in the shop right now. So that's a, actually a fairly respectable looking V there. Um, so now I can flip the back over. I think I'll probably hit that, that area right there and then that area right there and I'll have a pretty good, uh, pretty good weld. Okay, when I'm turning it off, I turn off the oxygen first and then I turn off the map gas and I'm done.